I'm Lloyd Princeton with Design Management Company and these are the 26 steps to success. Ask questions. When someone's coming to you for a service or a product, it really is a problem that they're bringing to you and you are providing that solution. In order to understand the right solution, you need to ask questions. You need to ask a lot of questions. I guarantee you, the first response you get from somebody is probably not their best response or the whole picture. Think of it as an onion. You're peeling the layers of an onion to get to the real core issue and that's what you're going to be solving. And that's what you're going to base your proposal on and that's what your design solution, your service, your product will resolve. Balance. You want to leave a balanced life. You know, when you're on your deathbed, you're not going to go, gosh, I wish I worked more hours. You're going to be thinking, I wish I would have spent more time with my kids or with my friends or, or doing the things that really make you happy. It is possible to enjoy your work and enjoy your life and at, wake up every day and just think, listen, I'm not trying to accomplish something. I'm trying to live joyfully and that's what your objective is. So you want to live balanced and you want to go to church or you want to go to the gym or you want to spend time with your kids or you want to be home for dinner. That's what's important and you can incorporate it with your work as well. Control. You need to control yourself. You can't control other people. You know, we oftentimes think we can control an outcome to a situation or um, make things happen just because we will it. We really can't. All we can do is show up and be present and be responsible for what we say and for what we do and to be disciplined in our approach and how we try to get things accomplished. Have a goal in mind, know where you want to be and do the best you can to be there and get there. That's what you can be in control of, but you can't control other people or their actions or the outcomes of situations. Just do the best you can. Don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated by what other people have done. Don't be intimidated by the scope of the problems that you're trying to solve. And don't be intimidated by the distance between where you are today and where you want to be in the future. You know, you're taking one step at a time to get where you want to go and you want to enjoy yourself along the way. And when you see people around you that are where they, where you want to be, don't be envious. Just know and use them as a, as a, as a, as a guide and, and think of how did they get there and be happy for them and know that that joy is going to help you get where you want to be. Enthusiasm. When I think back to my career, if I can think of the number one compliment people have paid me, it's been about my enthusiasm and my energy. People say, you know, I could power a small city with my, with my energy and I think oftentimes it's just because I am happy for them and happy to be where I'm at and I love what I'm doing. So be enthusiastic. That's going to rub off on people and people want to do business with people that they enjoy and that they're happy to be around. Be one of those people. Flexible. Listen, things are not going to work out as you want them to every day. You know, oftentimes things will go your way, but you have to be flexible and know that sometimes we take a different route to get there, a circuitous route. Think of it like, a, like an airline plane. You know, you're, you're going from Los Angeles to New York. It's not a straight line. You know, the plane has to change courses, it has to avoid weather systems, it, it may change, you know, make course corrections throughout the entire flight, but it eventually gets where it's going and you will too. Be flexible. Goals. You have to have goals. It, it's almost like the, the line out of Alice in Wonderland, you know, when, when Alice asks the Cheshire Cat, you know, which way should she go on the road? And the Cheshire Cat goes, well, where do you want to go? And she goes, I don't know. And he goes, well, then it doesn't matter which road you're taking. That's the same thing with goals. You need to know where you want to be and you have to set realistic and measurable goals so that you know where you're going and that you know when you've arrived. Have goals.